Hello? Hi, is Cynthia there? Speaking. Cynthia, this is Reverend Mitchell. I'm the one performing your daughter's wedding ceremony tomorrow. Reverend Mitchell, thank you for calling. I am so excited to meet you tomorrow. Yeah. It's like the biggest day of my life. That's what I needed to call you about. It's not going to happen. Um, what's not going to happen? Your daughter's wedding. My daughter's wedding. Tomorrow. Correct. Correct. No, it is going to happen. Uh, now, before before you go getting upset or freaking out at all, I just want to talk to you for a second because I've had a lot of conversations with your daughter the past month or so. Okay. And I feel that she's getting a lot of pressure from outside sources to get married. I think you know what I'm talking about. I actually have no clue as to what you're talking about. Frankly, ma'am, it's obvious that you're pressuring your daughter to get married, and I can't support that. <laughs> I, you, I have... Never pressured my daughter into anything. Sometimes mothers want their daughters to get married so badly that they tend to pressure them without even knowing. And I think that's what you've been doing, ma'am. Who the hell are you to tell me what kind of a mother I am when you've never even met me? I know it's a tough thing for you to hear right now, but okay, I've gone ahead. You know Jack. And I need to get off this phone because clearly I have to get my daughter on the phone and do whatever it takes to find another officiant for this wedding. Because no matter what, you are not coming within a hundred miles of it, do you hear me? I've already gone ahead and canceled the reception and all of the other... If you have done that, if you have done that, <laughs> you are no reverence, sir. You are Satan. Do you hear me? You are Satan. You're Satan. I think that's a bit much, don't you, ma'am? I mean, to compare oh, me... Fuck. Don't you ever, ever call this number again. <laughs> I told you never call here again. Ma'am, I owe you an apology. And that's the only reason I'm calling back. You've got ten seconds. <laughs> I was just going over my schedule. I realized I called the wrong number. <laughs> I mean... Whoops. <laughs> There's egg all over my face, ma'am. My apologies. Yeah, well, you know what? Consider this, if you will. You probably just shaved at least 15 <laughs> years off of my life in the last 10 minutes. Oh, believe me, I get it. I, th listen, I was looking over my books here, and there's two Sarahs, one that's not ready to get married and one that I guess is, and that'd be your Sarah. I meant to call the other people. <laughs> Aren't you funny? Aren't you cute? Well, I meant to call the other people, I accidentally called you, and, jeez, do I feel like a horse's patoot. <laughs> Sorry. You idiot, you f***ing idiot. So we'll see you tomorrow, then? You are not coming within a hundred miles of my daughter's wedding. Do you get that? Gotcha. Loud and clear. How about I have Jubal do your daughter's wedding, then? He could probably do the, the ceremony, if you'd like. I don't know who the f*** you're talking about, but anybody on this earth would be Better than you. Actually, I am Jubal. So. So then not you. Find me a proper reverend. No. This is actually Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the morning. I'm moving 92.5 doing a phone tap on you. Your daughter set you up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I, I'm sorry to have to do this to you the day before her wedding, but, you know, she requested it, so. <laughs> that was my goal the whole time. <laughs> so. That was funny. I got to give you, but you are a horrible person. <laughs> <laughs>